At the highest level, music and post professionals want precise control over speaker calibration settings and want the option to fine-tune EQ and bass management without relying on auto-calibration algorithms. The SPQ option card is the latest addition to the MTRX interface and it enables you to tune your monitoring environment once the room has been measured, whether you're working in stereo, 5.1, 7.1 or multi-speaker immersive formats. It is mounted in the 8-slot card section of the base unit and doesn't have any I.O. connectivity as it's a pure processing card. It can handle up to 128 channels at 48 kHz with a total of 1024 filters. It also supports sample rates from 44.1 up to 384 kHz. There's also a delay available on all channels individually as well as generally for a whole set of speakers to also accommodate lip sync applications. The SPQ setting is stored in the ProMon monitor profile in Deadman and speaker settings can be recalled separately from stored monitor profiles for a quick change of parameters. Let's have a look in Deadman how to use the EQ and bass management for speaker channels. Once the SPQ card is installed, click in Deadman on the EQ button above your monitor output. This opens the EQ section and shows you all available output channels. In this case it's 10 as it's a Dolby Atmos 712 output path. Select the channel output you want to treat and click on Add EQ. This brings up the first band of your EQ, where you can now choose between a parametric EQ, a shelving or high and low pass. Clicking on Add EQ multiple times will instantiate multiple bands. Every channel can have up to 16 bands and they all appear in different colors. You could now proceed to the next channel for EQing or copy your complete EQ and paste it onto another channel with the buttons Copy All and Paste All. The EQs can of course be set individually per monitor output, so if you also have a near-field speaker set, this can be EQed as well. If you need to put in a delay for some speaker channels, dial them in here between 0 and 200 milliseconds. This is helpful, especially for the surround speakers in bigger rooms. If you require bass management for your speaker setup, we first have to enable this feature in the monitor profile. Go to Settings, Monitor Profile and click on the monitor output that requires bass management. Do a right click and select Bass Management Preset. Here you can define the crossover frequency, filter type and filter slope between your satellite speakers and the subwoofer. Once this is applied, you can now see the crossover frequency in the EQ window of your monitoring part of Datman and turn it off if you need to.